Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host with most, as always, Francois878, and today we're going to be talking about and reviewing and just giving my general thoughts about Gara, the brand new Warframe introduced in Update 22, or the Plains of Eidolon. First things first, though, before we get to the good stuff, uh, Garo was gifted to me by DE. I am a Warframe partner. I did receive Gara for free so that I could do this review. Just want to clear that up now. Uh, that being said, I do legitimately like Gara. I really do think her kit in general has a lot of great synergy. Uh, similar to Harrow's kit. Harrow had a lot of great synergy with his kit, and his abilities really blended well together, but they were still great when used individually. The same thing goes for Gara, and it's not like other frames that recently got reworked that their entire kit revolves around one crappy ability. That's the topic for another video entirely, though. <laughs> uh, Gara is obtained, uh, the blueprint for Gara is obtained from Saya's Vigil, which is the introduction Planes of Eidolon quest. Her parts are random drops from various bounties that uh, the gentleman who gives bounties away, uh, Kaizu is his name, <laughs> it, it did slip my mind. I apologize. I'm tired. All right. But her kit is is very nice. It's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of damage, a little bit of CC, and it's got an ability that I think arguably uh, puts Frost on notice as one of the best defense heroes in the entire game quite honestly. Uh, first things first, though, her passive ability is called Glint. While standing in bright light, Gara's glass has a chance to blind nearby enemies briefly and expose them to melee finishers. I have no idea what the percentage is. I have no idea how to get the, to trigger, necessarily. It just kind of randomly happens. You'll be running around and you'll see people who are just stunned. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> that's that's fine. Uh, and so I, you can just run around and finish them off, basically. Uh, I'm sure there are some maps that are better than others for this, but uh, that's what it is. Uh, this first build that I'm showing off for Gara is actually a balanced build, uh, 185 power strength, 160. Uh, power range, uh, which is interesting. I'm actually using Cunning Drift instead of Power Drift. 130 efficiency and 156 duration. A little bit of everything, and it's actually not a bad build for Gara at all. Uh, this second build is a very high duration build, and it's specifically for Splinter Storm, which I'm going to get into in a moment. Uh, Gara's second ability. Basically, uh, this high duration build allows you to use your 2 and your 4 in conjunction to lock down specific areas and defend uh, defense objectives or just defend, defend your team, uh, revive someone. It's a really great combo and I really like how her kit uh, synergizes. Now, her first ability is called Shattered Lash. This is basically an upgraded version of Wukong's Iron Jab. Now, when you tap Gara's first ability, you will do a straight line damage and hit anything directly in front of you. If you hold your one key, you'll actually do a horizontal cone of damage about 180 degrees and hit everything in your your path, everything in front of you. It's actually a great little upgrade that I really like, and I'd like to see Wukong's first ability and even perhaps Necros's first ability altered to kind of incorporate this sort of um, tap versus hold uh, mechanic. Now, something that I've noticed, 
that is a small little thing. Uh, when you tap it and just do the straight line uh, shattering lash, uh, you will actually deal primarily puncture damage. Uh, I do find that I deal more damage to armored units with the tap versus the horizontal cone, which I find deals more slash damage. It deals more damage to fleshier units. So just something to keep in mind uh, depending on what kind of enemies you're engaging. Now, her second ability is called Splinter Storm. Uh, basically, Gara's armor breaks and starts to float around around her, and you can get a maximum of 90% damage reduction uh, when you have this running. That's why I have such high duration on that second build, so that Shatter, uh, I'm sorry, I said Shatter Shield, Splinter Storm, I don't know why DE has two different abilities that do very similar things that are both have two word S names. It's fine. It's not fine. <laughs> but this particular ability is really nice for survivability. And it's not perfect. Obviously, 90% uh, still leaves plenty of room for Gara to get killed, especially on higher level content. And that is where the rest of her kit uh, comes into play. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, when you combo the rest of her kit together, she shouldn't really be taking that much damage uh, to begin with. Uh, now, her th second ability can also be cast on allies, and they get the full damage reduction also. It's really great. It's very similar to Naja's augment for... Uh, his safeguard ability where you can cast safeguard uh, on other players except normally other players get you know the free shield whereas Gara's is 90% damage reduction it's the same sort of thing though uh, you can also cast it on enemies and they will take damage over time as well as uh, having a chance to have their weapons misfire honestly I, I don't even mess around with trying to cast it on enemies. I just usually keep it casted on myself. Uh, that's <laughs> the 90% damage reduction is really all I'm looking for uh, with it. Now, her third ability is Spectro Rage. Uh, basically, you cast a series of mirrors at uh, wherever you're pointing, wherever your cursor is. And any enemy that walks into these circles of mirrors will start shooting the mirrors. Breaking the mirrors deals damage to the enemy. And when all the mirrors break, everything inside takes an AoE blast. This is probably the ability that I'm least... That I'm honestly least impressed with. This particular ability is very bad CC. Uh, especially on higher level content. Now, enemies in the Spectral Rage circle, the carousel, usually attack the mirrors, but I found that if there's, if you or an ally is close enough to the circle, or if you happen to accidentally jump in the circle, the enemies will start attacking you. Which makes sense, but I'd like to see the Spectra Rage force enemies to attack the mirrors first, and only the mirrors until all the mirrors are destroyed. That way, the CC for this ability is a little bit more reliable, whereas right now it's... It's definitely the ability that I am least impressed with overall, honestly. Her fourth and final ability... Her ultimate is something that I quite like, and I would say it puts Frost on notice as the main defense frame in the game. Mass uh, Vitrify? <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, basically, Gara starts to channel a decent-sized... A circle of glass. The glass slowly expands away from Gara, 
and you can choose to stop it from expanding at any time. While the ring is expanding, if the ring hits an enemy, they're, they're covered in glass, and after a few seconds, they're frozen, and they take significantly higher damage, similar to Nova's Molecular Prime. Once you choose to turn off the ring, or if the ring hits maximum range, uh, the ring will solidify, and enemies will no longer be able to shoot through the ring. Now, the reason I say that this is potentially going to put Frost on notice is that the ring does not have health. It is purely uh, duration-based. So anything that's trying to shoot at that ring will not get through it. And you can recast the ring as much as you want. It is not locked behind the duration like some other abilities are, like Banshee's Silence. So, essentially, if you're careful, you can put a ring around a defense target forever, <laughs> essentially, and block any damage on a horizontal, on the same level as the ring. The one weakness that this ring has for Gara is that if an enemy gets above where the ring is, it can be a little dicey. It can be. However, I think that if you were to use Frost and if you were to use Frost and Gara in together as a combo, you'd have the Frost Bubble on the inside covering the top, and then the Gara Ring on the outside blocking the majority of the horizontal damage. You know, everyone just trying to walk up. And attack the frost bubble i think this would be a really good combination uh, because you wouldn't have the the frost globe taking a ton of damage uh, from the majority of enemies you'd really just be worrying about any enemy that happened to get a higher vantage point that wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be hitting the ring basically it's it's an interesting theory and i'd like to test it out and see uh, what else, if it's actually viable or not. Now, some other interesting little synergies with Mass Vitrify is once the ring is done expanding and you've turned it off, you can hit the ring with your one ability. It will blow the ring up and deal directional damage to everything in range. It's, a, it's not a bad nuke, honestly. Uh, again, towards higher level content, unless you have a specific build, it's probably not going to be, you know, Saren or Banshee levels of good, but good enough. <laughs> good enough for anything on the planes, that's for sure. Uh, another great little piece of synergy, when you cast your fourth ability, if you have your second ability running, it will actually refresh the timer on that ability which is actually really awesome. So you cast your second ability for 50 energy, and then, you know, 30 seconds later, let's say, right before the second ability turns off, you cast your Mass Vitrify for 100, and then you just continue to cast your Mass Vitrify, and you can, you know, keep blowing it up or whatever, and that way you never have to spend any more energy on your second ability because you're always refreshing it. Uh, granted, you are spending 100 energy on Mass Vitrify, but if you're using Mass Vitrify anyways, on a, you know, trying to defend a, a target or whatever, if you're using it anyways, it doesn't really matter. So it's, it's, it's a cool little bit of synergy and I really like it. And that's another reason I'm not a big fan of spectral rage because it doesn't synergize with her four at all and it doesn't really synergize with any of her other ab abilities as well as i think it could so overall i really really like gara i think she's great i think she's got great synergy i think design wise the team definitely took a risk on doing the glass armor i think i don't think a frame at least a base frame has had so much uh, detail and so much going on. I think that's definitely 
uh, a something that Warframe has gotten more and more of with age is more and more detail in the base frames. Haro was awesome, absolutely incredible. Lots of intricate little details with Haro. Uh, same thing with Nidus, same thing with Octavia, and, and the trend continues now with Gara. I think that uh, both of the helmets are awesome. I like both of the helmets. Uh, the Cyandana that she came with was, eh, I didn't like that. <laughs> I'll be honest, it looks, looks a little goofy, but to each their own. So overall, she's a very interesting frame. She's got an AoE nuke. She's got a melee mod based first ability. She's got a great, great damage resistance ability. Uh, she's got some very light CC. She's a very well-rounded frame with a lot of synergy that works. And I'm very happy that DE really knocked Gara on the head and really nailed and, and knocked her out of the park. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate you listening to me ramble for probably 15 minutes now. Uh, we're going to be going over all of Gara's uh, equipment as well. Her shotgun, her knives, her hammer, and the rest of the gear that came out with PoE as well. We're going to be going and tackling Gara's quest as well, Saya's Vigil. I already did it, but I'm going to redo it just uh, for you guys. And then we're going to get into the, some of the fishing and crafting stuff. I'm trying to take that part of the game slowly. I, I want to enjoy it and savor it and, and really work hard towards it. So uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe. Uh, my Twitter and Facebook are in the descriptions as well if you want to follow me and hear the the mad ravings of a lunatic. That's, that's where you'd find them. Until next time, folks, I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878, signing off.